John Quincy Adams once said, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. Experiences with great leadership can come in many forms. It can be someone in your family, a teacher, or in my case for this purpose, a manager. I am a strong believer that in just because you're a manager doesn't mean you're a leader. Juanita Tyson was my first ever manager that really showed me what true leadership is. She not only led me in my professional life, but is also someone that I look up to personally. Juanita encompasses everything I believe a good leader should, leader should be. She is strong, understanding, and above all, patient. I really enjoyed being able to ask Juanita some questions about what, her, what leadership means to her and what influenced her to be the great leader she is today. I learned how her family influenced her leadership skills, what qualities she believed made a successful leader, what qualities she believed makes a poor leader, and advice that she has for people who are new to leadership roles. A little background information about Juanita. She has been in a management position for 20 years and feels like that's where she belongs. She has a democratic style of leadership communication. On page 41 of the textbook, Table 2.1, there's a chart that shows the different styles of leadership communication, and the democratic style definitely fits Winita the best. She's a strong believer in two-way open communication, exhibits effective listening skills, and provides frequent positive feedback. Those are almost exact definitions of her in leadership. She is all about engaging positive communication within leaders and followers. One thing that I already knew prior to this interview was that Juanita is very family oriented, but I didn't know that her parents had such an influence on her leadership style. She told me that she thinks that way she was raised shows through her leadership traits. Growing up in a family of five children, fairness is one thing that she was taught that she brought over when managing. Fairness is also how she treats her employees, and I think that's why she has such great impact on her employees, because they respect her and she respects them. When learning about referent power, I immediately related that to Juanita and how she leads. She builds a mutual, mutual respect for her employees, therefore is able to get more out of them because they listen to her since they respect her. One of the next things that I talked to Juanita about was what qualities she thought good leaders possess and what qualities she might have thought poor leaders have. One thing that really stuck out to me about what she said about good leaders is that they must be able to lead through change. When working in corporate America, change is inevitable, but good leaders are able to find a way to make the change work for their team. Another quality that Juanita thought was important in a leader is confidence. While working for Juanita, she was always confident when answering questions or talking to customers. And I think that confidence rubbed off on us, her employees. As for poor leadership skills, Juanita told me she thinks that poor leaders are those who take credit for their team's successes and credit for work that they had no part in. Also, poor leadership to Juanita is someone who micromanages because she believes that does not give people the ability to think creatively or individually. Lastly, the question I was looking the most forward to her response was, do you have any advice for someone new to a leadership role? Her answer was very quick and direct, which was, just be yourself. I think that is a very true statement. People can tell when you're being ingenuine, and if you're trying to be someone you're not, people will catch you. Great leaders inspire greatness in others around them, and I'm forever grateful for the impact Juanita has on me as a great leader.